The Andean nations Bolivia, Ecuador and Peru rely on large glaciers for their water supply. But the World Bank's 2009 report warned climate change may lead to their complete disappearance, putting not just water but energy and food sources at risk. In fact, for the last 30 years, the world's tropical glaciers have already lost more than one-fifth of their ice and snow. The day will come when uh, there will no longer be a Kelkaya ice cap, and the history uh, that's preserved here will no longer be available. So in many ways, uh, we are also salvage, salvaging a history of our past that will be lost as the Earth continues to warm. By analyzing the air bubbles and dust particles trapped in the ice, scientists can map the past climate changes and volcanic eruptions. The evidence shows that human-related pollution in South America started in the 16th century, when Spanish conquistadors forced the native people to start mining silver. Since the ice cap is meant to melt and the those contaminants are meant to be released in the environment. So we would like to, to quantify this contamination and, and see if it could have any impact on human health. But the highest increase in pollution and the quickest melting of ice started in the 20th century. A series of photographs taken over a 33-year period shows one of the glaciers retreating by almost 50 percent. You can see that the glaciers have been retreating more and more with time, and this is because the, the temperature has been increasing. And if the temperature increases, this means that the isotopes will be higher in concentration. Scientists say that Qualcaya ice cap is one of only a few sites on Earth where the pre-industrial human impact on air quality can be studied today. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.